So, ladies and gentlemen, everybody, Dean McRae here, Liberal Democrat candidate for the Eden Monero by-election. Now, while I'm cruising around doing my little tour of the electorate, I've meeting some really cool and interesting people. Now, Jan actually interviewed me for the community radio station. Now I'm returning the favour. It turns out that Jan Wilson here is also an Order of Australia medalist, one of the world's best volunteers. Um, <laughs> world. Leo's cutting my head off on the camera. I'm putting on a stage. <laughs> That's OK, because we're real people doing real things. Um, you're also a former citizen of the Year of Yass, so I'm here in Yass with Jan. And what a lot of people don't realise about the Liberal Democrats, uh, our party, is that one of our core philosophies is the um, we want to remove government from your life, but we want to replace it with um, volunteerism and, and charity and people doing real stuff. So, Jen, what's it like being a superstar? Oh, I'm no superstar, <laughs> believe you me. <laughs> but I just got stuck in when I moved to Yes, and, and um, I've, do, I've volunteered for 20 years and I've enjoyed every minute of it. And you're involved in a, a an enormous amount of different different groups, charities, and you've participated in all sorts of volunteer-based organisations. Would you yep. share with us the, the okay. list of things you do? Well, I'm now president of uh, Yes FM, um, community radio here in Yes. Um, I'm president of the RSL Women's Auxiliary, and I'm also a legatee, uh, looking after 13 widows between my husband and I, which we love doing, and uh, was in VIEW, as Secretary of VIEW, here for a while. That's the Voices so. Interest in Education of Women. Yes. I know these things. <laughs> I used to cater for a few VIEW clubs in my catering company, yes. so I know a thing or two about VIEW clubs. Very hard to cater for you ladies, <laughs> I tell you, very challenging. No, we, did, we just got what we were given. <laughs> <laughs> So look, look I, I, I'm not going to sort of try and persuade you politically one way or the other. I have a feeling that most people, when they get to talk to me and have a look at our policies, they're sort of sympathetic to our, mm. our cause and they go, oh, I didn't realise this and I didn't realise that. What's your impression so far of one, me, and two, our, our philosophies and our, our things? You, you haven't thrown any tomatoes at me yet? No, I, I think at our age we stop and listen. We just don't follow on the way we've had in the past. We stop and listen. Um, and uh, I'm interested in what you are doing. So, you know, that, that will probably go to the vote, but it, we need people out here talking to us about what they're actually thinking of doing. You're not promising the world. So no, no, as a libertarian, we actually want to take over so we can leave you alone. That's, yes. that's sort of a, and people sort of think that's a bit strange, but we don't want to tell you how to live your life. We, yeah. we think you're a responsible adult and you're more than capable of making your own decisions within reason. Yeah. And volunteerism is far more efficient than anything that the government can produce because most Australians I know are generally disappointed in their politicians, rightfully so. <laughs> so I'm not going to... Pre promise things that there's no chance in the wide world of us uh, ever achieving. I'd just rather put you in a position to achieve what's best for your life. Well, that would be that would be good. And I think as you get older, you start thinking about what's going to happen in the next few years and who's going to do a good job for you. And I think that's important to think about the vote before we actually go to it, because you are taking over from someone who um, was well, very well respected in the area. That, so. That's right, and the interesting part is, I mean, whether you're Liberal or Labor, everybody I've spoken to had, had nice things to say about Mike Kelly, mm -hmm. so he's obviously doing a good job. Mm -hmm. We like to think about things slightly differently, mm -hmm. but if you read our policies, we find most people who have never even thought about our policies go, oh, I agree with most of that. Oh, there's one or two that I'm not real mm -hmm. told on. But the other challenge I usually like to put out for people that they don't do is they don't read the policies of the parties they're fans of. They read the headline in the newspaper, which true. I'd like to see people take a little bit more time to, to actually go into the policy side of it and the principle side of it. Um, I won't ask you who you vote for. Um, well, certainly not on camera, that's private. Well, you already know. Oh, I do already know, <laughs> but I, I won't, I won't tell, tell the people that's, that's none of their business. Uh, but I, I, I would ask that if, if you vote for whoever you normally do. If, if you'd like a second choice that you would at least consider myself and the LDP as a, a new way of thinking. And certainly. Uh, we'd like to certainly be in the, in the category and available. So we've got Order of Australia medal winner here, Jan Wilson, world-class volunteer, superstar. <laughs> no, superstar? not quite. <laughs> <laughs> and, and a Yas local. So 
It's been an absolute pleasure talking to you today, Jen. So thank you so much for coming on. Um, and I'll keep in touch with you for the radio station yep. over the coming weeks. And then after that, who knows, we'll, we'll, we might even do a Liberty segment on the radio or something. That could be fun. That could be fun. So, yeah. All right, guys, Can thank I just you say so much. Something? Oh, no, no, you're not allowed to. We are against free speech here. <laughs> oh, hang on, I'm a free speech advocate. And I like to Vote have a good time. Vote for him because he's a character and I believe what he's saying. So, <laughs> thumbs up. Thanks Jean. so much, Jan. You're a delight. <laughs> Lovely to meet and you. And Leo, who's in the background. <laughs> the executive cameraman, Leo. Well done, mate. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, Love guys.